What's up, Muscle & Strength? I'm Arash Rabar. We are here at my buddy's gym, Siege Athletics in Mineola. I'm gonna train some chest for you guys and walk you through what I do and why I do it. Hope you enjoy. Warming up has been a big part of my training the past few years. So I'm doing like a dumbbell fly with the cables here. So completely bending over, not standing up, but completely bending over will mimic doing a fly. But what's important when doing flies is keeping the bend in the elbow constant. A lot of guys, when they when go too heavy, they'll bend at 90 degrees, kind of press up, and they'll be straight at the top. The bend in the elbow should stay constant completely. So it's almost like you're hugging a tree. You can't hug a tree with straight arms, you gotta keep them bent. <clears throat> the key to my chest training and what I attribute a lot of my chest gains, so to speak, is really the way that I do the exercises. I've been doing incline, flat, and dumbbell flies per predominantly for the past like 10, 15 years. Do I throw in some cables or some decline here and there? Yes. But what really gave me the development and gave me thickness in my chest is one, doing flies correctly and heavy. And two, retracting my shoulders back and down. If I retract back, my chest comes forward, my shoulder goes back. Less shoulder activation, less front delta activation, more chest. So, so simple, but it's night and day. How much more activation and thus muscle growth you're gonna get in your chest. It's getting a little busy in here, so I'm gonna throw the mask on to be mindful of others. And uh, I've had a hard time finding a mask. I have like 25 masks at home, and I just can't breathe well with them. It's, I suck in the mask. There's no, there's no room and literally gasping for air. So I've been kind of putting some ideas together for my own mask and my logo here. This is the first prototype, so it's not gonna look like this. It's evolved a lot, but it's, it's a couple layers of polyester with a filter and uh, I can breathe so much better with it. I'll let you guys all know when I, when I get it all done, throw it up on the site. No need to really warm up after the first exercise, but I'll always feel it out and do kind of an acclimation set before I get into the heavy working weight. Again, nowadays I'm just kind of going with my feel, but what I normally like to do is warm up, get my nervous system ready with an acclimation set, acclimating for the heavy weight, maybe 80%. 80, 85% of your max working weight. And then just go to that max weight and do your three to four working sets. usually don't do more than two presses, but we're gonna end up with this hammer strength press just to show you guys two techniques, dead stops and cluster sets. I've always been a big fan of cluster sets, but I just kind of like lost, lost focus on them for a long time. I didn't do them for years. And then John Meadows, when he came down and we trained legs, he had me do them and it kind of refreshed my memory. So here we're gonna do a cluster set, much higher volume, but I'll do whatever I can, 10, 15 reps, give myself 20 to 30 seconds to recover and go again. And then do that again. You can do it up to three times, sometimes four times. So you're getting more out of the weight than you normally would.
I'm gonna do dead stop cluster set. Never done this before. It's probably gonna suck. So I'm gonna do the dead stop rep. So every single rep, I'm gonna put that weight down and start from scratch. No momentum, no stretch reflex. I'm gonna do as many as I can and I'm gonna rest for 20 seconds. I'm gonna go again. If I have it in me, I'll rest for another 20 to 30 seconds and go again. I may regret this, but let's see how it goes. All right, so that was 10. All right, so instead of two intensity techniques, I was three. I got three force reps at the end too, so there you have it. Dead stop, cluster set with force reps. Don't say I didn't give you guys anything. Dumbbell flies, one of my favorites. And honestly, just one of the most important overlooked exercises for chest thickness and development. And like I said before, you guys want to hug a tree. You do not want to change the bend in your elbow. You don't want to be straight at the top and you don't want to be 90 degrees. That's a press, that's a fly press, which is fine, but it's not a fly. Guys ask me what I do for my chest, my chest thickness. This is, this is one of the, the reasons and one of the things I give the most credit to. All right guys, if you like my style of training, be sure to hit the link below and sign up for my new app coming out very soon. So as you guys saw, my shoulders are back, chest was up, chin was up, protruding, working that chest and really getting a contraction. Whereas if I lean forward just a little and I let those shoulders come forward, that's a lot of front delt there. And you see my clavicle, my collarbone caving in. Now I'm exaggerating to prove a point, but you guys will see this a lot of the time. And that is not bodybuilding. That's just moving the weight from point A to point B. So you guys gotta pay attention to that and sometimes park your ego at the door, pull back on weight a little bit and make sure you're feeling the muscle. <laughs> <laughs> So that's a wrap guys, that's my chest workout. Did a little bit more than usual just to show you guys some different techniques and exercises. I usually keep it very, very basic. Maximum four exercises. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. Train with intensity, make every rep of every set count. <laughs> <laughs>